I built an 85% efficient heat recovery ventilator, or HRV, from only sheets of corrugated plastic and adhesive. My mind is honestly blown by how well it works with just those two materials. Welcome to the Healthy Home Guide. This is a place where I share practical tips for creating a safe and healthy home. Please go ahead and like this video if you would and subscribe because it does help me out a lot. First, I'm gonna briefly explain what HRVs do, okay? Uh, to put it simply, they are fresh air intake systems for your home that change the temperature of the incoming fresh air so it's not too cold in the winter and not too hot in the summer. If you happen to be curious about why fresh air might be important for your health, uh, watch this video that I made about it, up wherever it is. It's also linked in the description. So what did I want out of my HRV? I wanted one capable of supplying enough fresh air for my entire first floor and part of my second floor. So the question was, how do I learn to build it so it can do that? So first, what I did, of course, was I looked on the internet. I looked at what other people have built. And I saw a lot of amazing HRVs, brilliantly designed HRVs. But for what I wanted in particular, all of them actually fell short. Here are the reasons why, okay? One, most of the DIY HRVs I've seen on YouTube use these four inch computer cooling fans. Four inch fans in general just cannot efficiently and quietly move the volume of air that I need. Two, the heat exchanging cores that I've seen are too small to change the temperature of the incoming air as much as I'd like. And where I live, it gets pretty cold, so I need a big core. Three, most importantly, I have not seen a DIY HRV built to properly filter the incoming air. And yeah, some can filter it a little bit, but not nearly well enough to prevent harmful small particles from getting sucked into the house. For more information about how to properly filter HRVs, by the way, uh, check out this video of mine, wherever it is, um, linked in the description also. All right, so you're probably ready to see my HRV by this point. First, I'll say, at many points in the process of making this thing, I thought, what in the world have I gotten myself into? Like, does the fact that I decided to even do a project like this mean I'm losing my mind? I mean, maybe, and maybe that's not a bad thing, right? Anyway, here it is. It's built of four millimeter core plash sheets and hot glue. I designed it using the 3D design software SketchUp. It uses two six inch 288 CFM inline duct fans, one intake and one exhaust. I'm able to run them on the lower speeds so that they're quiet and energy efficient and they still deliver enough fresh air for a large area. This is the heat exchanging core. It's made of squares of coroplast that I painstakingly cut out and bonded together with adhesive spray for maximum contact and therefore heat transfer. The core is 14 by 14 by 14 inches, which is large compared to the others I've seen. Not to core shame or anything. The core's size allows the airstreams to slow down enough to be properly warmed. And it's winter right now, so that's important. Fresh air comes in this six inch duct and passes through these channels in the core. And stale air comes through this fan and passes through these channels in the core, transferring its heat to the fresh air. Of course, the streams don't mix, which is pretty cool. A series of fans blows the air to other parts of the house. For instance, this box fan blows it to the kitchen. And yeah, it's not elegant, but it keeps my air healthy to breathe. And that's my top priority. In the future, I'll think about making it more elegant. The part I'm most proud of are these filters. It has two MERV 13 14 by 14 inch filters that are four inches thick. 
Lower MERV ratings than 13 do not cut it, by the way. MERV 13 filters prevent harmful small particles, PM 2.5, from being sucked into my house, and they also keep the core clean and functioning properly. Now I'll share some data about how well it works. I'll start with the qualitative observations, which matter, by the way. So I feel so much better with this thing running. I feel less tired, I feel more energized, um, and I can concentrate better so I can think more clearly. By the way, I don't think I'm imagining that either. Um, recent studies show that children in schools with proper ventilation actually do better on their tests. My nose is less stuffed up. That's one thing, that's great. Um, my eyes are also like less itchy and scratchy. Uh, I can breathe better and so I sleep better. And you know, I'm sure I'll continue to notice more longer term health benefits. So yeah. So I wanna give you guys the full spectrum of data. So I'm gonna now balance it with some quantitative data. So first, a little background. I used a hot wire anemometer to measure the temperature of the incoming supply air from this fan. To be clear, I'm talking about the fresh air after it's been warmed by the core. I also measured the ambient room temperature and the outdoor temperature. I did several measurements on different days with different outdoor temperatures. Thumbs up for reliability, right? Here are the results. The math shows that my HRV is 85 to 87% efficient, which is actually considered high efficiency. Here's some uh, health and safety data. This HRV reduces PM 2.5 and 10 in my house by 90 to 95%. Uh, it also keeps CO2 levels below 600 parts per million, and it greatly reduces VOCs. Insane. Now the ultimate question, was this HRV a success? Of course it was. So not only is it highly efficient in terms of heat recovery, but it also dramatically reduces the amounts of harmful gases and particles in my air. Like this video if you like those results. Was building it worth it though? Absolutely. I mean, to buy and install a properly filtering HRV like mine, it would cost you $4,000 or more. I built this one for less than $200 in materials, and I'm pretty sure I can get that cost even lower if I source my Coroplast a little better. There are some drawbacks of my design, of course, it's not perfect. The first drawback, it's big, unfortunately. Though it does need to be big in order to work this well, for the reasons I mentioned earlier. Drawback two, it is out in the open and it's a little bit of an eyesore. Um, it's also not hooked up to ducts, so I do have to use fans to circulate the air. Um, in the future, I might move it to the basement and make ducts and vents for it. Drawback three, it needs to be oriented horizontally because of how heavy the core is and how thin coroplast is as a material. The horizontal orientation may not allow condensation to drain easily. I can already hear the commenters chattering about this, by the way. I'm telling you, so far, condensation has not been a problem. Um, and it's probably because it's relatively dry where I live. So a pretty cool future plan I have is uh, I'm gonna put in activated carbon filters. And those should help keep out any stray clouds of VOCs that might blow around during temperature inversions. Um, you know, from like idiots that still use pesticides on their lawns. All in all, my HRV efficiently delivers warm, fresh, clean air to a large area of my house. And I'm, I'm like beyond proud of it. I'm not gonna lie, the feeling of self-efficacy that the success of this has brought is pretty good. Special thanks to the channels Designed by Instinct and also Alex G's Aquarium for making amazing instructional videos on how exactly to build HRVs. I hope I've earned your subscription by showing you that it's possible to build an efficient and inexpensive HRV that can supply air for a large area. Please do leave a comment below if you have anything to add whatsoever and like this video if you like this video. 
Have a properly ventilated day.